crap, dude. That's amazing. <laughs> Holy crap, man. Thank you so much, that's beautiful! That's a good reaction! <laughs> yeah. I have been using this VR plugin for Blender called Freebird XR, and I'm really enjoying the results that I'm getting and how fun it is to make stuff with it. Usually when I get excited about a new tool, I try to make a little project just to justify using it, and this time it's no, no different. And I really wanted to make a 3D printed statue of a person. When I've done this in the past, I usually try to make somebody popular or an actor or somebody that people can identify easily, or I just end up making some type of fan art. My problem with fan art is I'm not that big of a fan of anything, and a lot of times the things that I enjoy watching do not coincide with the things that I like, the style and design. And nowadays making a portrait of somebody famous is very risky, uh, not for fear of being cancelled myself, but just most actors are getting involved in politics and trying to convince people how to vote and what's right and what's wrong and uh, I don't want to be associated with any of that for any side. And those people have already so many fans, so many arts made out of them that the likelihood of them seeing what I made is very little. So why not make this about somebody that I personally know and admire and I can gift it to them instead of piling up more 3D prints on my shelves. Okay, this handsome fella here is Jimmy the Butcher, <laughs> uh, Jim Morrison, my jiu-jitsu instructor. Okay, first thing, let's get the pen here. Um, I can turn on the symmetry by pressing mirror. And the way the symmetry here works, it creates an empty object. So it's word-based symmetry, it's not object-based. So even after because the center is the word, even after the object is drawn, I can move it and the symmetry stays the uh, in the center, which is great. And you can always go out of, uh, of this mode, uh, like out of VR and change the modifier to be object based if you so desire. But so far, I think this is, has proven to be the best way to go about it. The way I like to go about is first, I. Let me just get a better look at his face. Okay, I remember him. So, I like to start with like some sort of uh, head shape. Going lightly over, making like a circle there. Let me try again. So, yeah, that's better and then I do like a profile of the forehead and I'm kind of building a cage around it right like almost almost like a wireframe and I'm gonna some huge ears here he has tiny ears uh, Hard to tell his jawline because of the amount of awesome beard going on there. So uh, I'm gonna guess uh, uh, the, the muzzle area here. It's gonna be a bit of a guess. Kind of got a tiny nose as well compared to this side of his face. I think everything looks tiny because of the huge beard, right? So. Um, Similar to a pencil sketch, you know, like I'm not gonna be erasing every five seconds, I just ignore what's there and do another mark. Or in some cases, actually, a ballpoint, if you ever sketch with a ballpoint pen, that's pretty much how I do with it. Um, okay, that's a big wish for me. So when I hold a stroke, I have the option. Uh, of pressing clone to make multiple copies, right? And then I have this quick tools option there that remains the same. Uh, I don't really like that. I wish, I like the copy possibility here. What I don't like and I wish was different is I wish I had a way to delete this stroke while I'm holding. 
like instead of going to the erase, I could just grab this. And instead of this being quick tools, if this was delete, like when I'm holding something, poof, it deletes. That would be awesome. Okay, now I can get everything that I just made here. Uh, and I'm gonna group everything under one collection by pressing M. Uh, sketch. And what this does is now, when I don't want to sketch anymore, I can just uh, turn it off the entire collection. Uh, there is a couple of strokes here, let me see what they are. I don't need them. And I will select everything here, so select object. And I will just adjust the size a little bit. Okay, okay that's good. Just so when I'm in VR again, I can actually uh, see things. All right, so here we go. So I'm using the whole tool here, that's a volume tool. I'm gonna to start with eyes this time. So I gotta do multiple shapes. No, I didn't see it, did I freeze? Shit, what have I done?
Okay, one thing that I'm start gonna start posing this thing. Let me just turn this off for a second. Okay, I'm gonna start posing this thing, so I need to break symmetry. And most of the strokes here have the mirror modifier on. So select all those objects, go to the modifier stack. Most of them have the mirror modifier, so I think if I press out while clicking on apply all. Yes, indeed it worked. So I pretty much, ah, oh, shit. Okay, I had to think for a second. So I apply all the modifiers, but if I try to pose this arm, the other arm is gonna be with, come with it. So I'm just gonna do quick and dirty here. Just select everything, Control J to join. Uh, go into edit modes and P to separate and by loose parts. So now I have independent parts on both sides and I can actually pose it with less restriction. Um, I did keep the arms and legs as simple as I could because it's a bit hard to select things right now uh, at this stage of uh, uh, free bird XR. So what I'm gonna do as well to make my life easier is to combine the head. So okay, I'm, I'm doing some some portions here. Um, the hand will probably reconstruct the hand from scratch. Cause here's the catch, right? I can. I'm gonna separate afterwards, anyways.
I combined everything, but at the end I separated individual parts for 3D printing, for easy to print and ease of painting too. Painting was pretty straightforward, I wanted to keep everything grey, but different shades, just to differentiate the gi from the skin and hair and so on. So I primed everything with a spray can of filler primer first, and then I went back with the airbrush and actually a brush to finish it up. Paper off. Okay. <laughs> Whoa, no way you did that. Holy oh, crap, dude. That's amazing. <laughs> Holy crap, man. Thank you so much. That's beautiful. That's a good reaction. <laughs> yeah. You see that? You know that guy? <laughs>